weekly analysis uh, part one. So I want to show you how to do weekly analysis and you will be separating it into five parts. So this is part one. Let me even write here, part one. Many people ask me, Esther, how do you analyze your, your, your pairs? How do you choose? What criteria do you use? How do I maximize my analysis so that I can get every opportunity in the market? If you have been wondering how to plan your analysis in the weekend, so that by Monday, when you're starting a week, you already know what to add what to trade, what not to trade. Follow this video to the end, watch it to the end, and it will be helpful. So what you need to understand, uh, we have five parts and I'll be explaining in each and every video because I'll do five videos in the weekly analysis. But part one, we are only analyzing GBP pairs. So we have, so many, we have major pairs and we'll be analyzing five of those. And that's what is our highlight for our analysis. That way, if you analyze, let's say GBP, GBP pairs, there is GBP USD, there is GBP, you can write them so that you don't forget. There is GBP CHF, there is GBP JPY, there is GBP, GBP NZD, and there is GBP AUD, and there is GBP CAD. So, when you start with GBP pairs, don't analyze GBP USD, then you go out USD, then you go Euro. No, you will not understand something. So as we analyze GBP pairs, we have one thing in common. The base is GBP. Base equals GBP. So when the base is GBP, we always say if base equals strong, what do we do in the market? Do you know? If base is strong, we always buy. So as we analyze, we want to understand because we are analyzing all GBP pairs and GBP is our base, is our base. All of them has GBP starting with, and we understand if base is stronger, we buy. So what are we, how will we know about if GBP is strong? How do you know that a currency is strong, number one? Um, it should create uptrend. The market should be on an uptrend. Number two, resistance break. Resistance break. Number three, it should have like a pattern. Pattern. Maybe it has a double bottom. Double bottoms mostly, they suggest that the market is a strong buy. So we'll be checking this. Now, having this information, it simplifies. Because if we go and see GBPUSD having support that has been broken, GBP is not strong. If we see GBPCHF having support break, is not strong. So those are some of the things we'll be checking. So let's start with GBPUSD. I, want, I don't want to make this video long. I just want you to understand. And because uh, we are doing this analysis. Let's start from monthly to even have a clarity what the market wants. So from the monthly time frame, we can see a break of structure. So for me, it is clear. I can see it. This buy from September, October 2022. You can imagine from October 2022 for a whole year of 2023, the market came and broke. If you can see, we have a break of structure, meaning GBP as a currency has been stronger. And then three months of 2023, August, September, and October, the market was doing a retracement. So the market retraced. Once the market retraced, we can see from November up to where the year has been, the market has taken momentum. So from the monthly perspective, the market is a strong, uh, it is indicating buy. And guys, I don't know if you remember, I once told you in my analysis that there is a double bottom on GBPUSD on the monthly time frame it's from 1985. Go check it, you will find it. We have said to understand if a market 
is on a, uh, the, the base is stronger. There's only one pattern that can give us that. And having this double bottom that is from 1985, it is an indication. You see how it was activated? It's an indication that GBP may be going on a strong buy. So having that in mind, uh, don't uh, be wondering why is GBPSD buying? They may be using that double bottom to buy in the market. So they can use that. And that is our half. You can see the market has never approached our half. You see? So they can, the market may be approaching 1.58. And you're at 1.26, that is almost 3,000 pips. So according to monthly, 3,151. According to monthly, the market is a strong buy. Even if we put uh, the, the trend line traders, the trend line traders, they connect this line. So they will connect here and they connect here. So we can see the market is almost approaching a very strong uh, trend line. Those who use trend line, they are all, all, even them, they are waiting for that trend line to be broken. And I don't know why I feel like this month of March, the trend line can finally be broken. So it's good to understand that the market is at a very uh, tricky place where buyers have to be defined. But according to monthly, the market is a buy. That's what I'm seeing. Even when you see the last previous candle, because we need to check the previous candle, how it was, it's a spinning top. And a spinning top, when it has both widths above and below, it just says that sellers were trying to take the market down, but buyers came in and uh, they started to, it was like, a war. even if sellers won, but we can see this one, it is a spinning top, meaning there's so much rejection from from the buying side. Anyway, let's go to the weekly time frame. So we have understood uh, the market can even go to 1.58, which is very crazy. So guys, this is something that I want you to understand. On the weekly, we have this double top that majority of you may have seen it or may have not seen it. We have a double top and we have a neckline. This double top has really, um, the market has really failed to reach to the hub. Like these are the double top that I'll had confidence with since it was activated in, uh, let me first draw the hub. So these are the double tops that I was so much interested because it, it is OPT. If I mark this area here, and then I mark this area, my second attempt, and then I drag this to monthly, you will see um, we do not have a, we do not have a double top. They have not activated. You can see they fail to activate. Can you see the red line? They fail to activate. From the monthly time frame. there is no activation of that double top. So that double top is only from the weekly. So. This double top, what happened? They failed to break to half, like to come to half. They just failed. And what I know about double tops that they don't come to half, they can create cap and handle. So it's not a wonder we see buyers having strength and breaking through this cap and handle. It's not a wonder, guys. And that's what I'm saying. Anything is possible. What I need to understand is that is pound powerful? Is pound really powerful? That's what I want to understand. So you can see the market can even go there. So on the weekly, we have a double top that has really failed. You can see sellers, they have not reached half, so they can create a cup and handle. We can be having a cup and handle soon. Soon. And to, for us to know there's a cap and handle, the market has to break. There's a zone, the market has to break. And it is this zone. They have to break this, um, this area, the first uh, attempt, that top. So 
if next week we see a candle breaking like that, just know we have a cup and handle activated. So that's what we are waiting for on the weekly time frame. Again, on the weekly time frame, we have this small double bottom. I don't know if you guys, you can see it. There's this small double bottom. And I just want to, to first to make sure the double bottom is not on the monthly. So on the weekly, there's still a double bottom. I hope you can see it. This is how you do analysis. By the time you are placing that buy, you have been convinced. There's this, what? There's this double bottom. If I go to monthly, I do not have it. So they can use that double bottom. In fact, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting this week. So this double bottom, let's measure our half. You can see the market never broke our half, which is very sad. They never broke our half. And again, you have this red candle. I don't know if it started with a gap. I think the market opened with a gap. So they never broke that half. And according to weekly, we do not have any support. So according to weekly, there's no support that we have of market buying. If I go to daily, now never forget the double bottom on the weekly. Because this is the same double bottom it will show us if the markets want to buy or to sell. Because they can still use the same double bottom to give us the cup and handle and the selling. So don't forget about that double bottom. Don't forget about it. If you go to the daily, and daily there's nothing much, nothing much to this market. And for our, nothing much. So for me, I would rather GBPUSD you avoid it this week. Why? Because where it is, it can do two ways. So sorry to say for me, GBPUSD is not in my list for the pairs that I want to trade. Maybe if it gives me three CB strategy, there's a strategy we call three CB. It is a strategy where we wait for the market to to give us an indication that we can have a short term buy. But again, guys, sorry to say GBPSD for me, I think I like my entries coming from either monthly and weekly and daily. So if daily I do not have, what am I doing even on the weekly? So <clears throat> you can see here, this is daily. So this is daily. So if I go to four hour, if I go to four hour, this is what I have. So on four hour, I have this double bottom. Can you see this double bottom? So if you want to trade on four hour, and these are short term trades, so we will still apply the same thing. If this double bottom is not on the daily, it can be traded. If it's not on the daily, it can be traded. So it has activated our double bottom. And then when you come to daily, we do not have that OPT. Can you see we do not have it? So if you still want to trade GBPUSD, I highly suggest you mark that double bottom. I think it is what the only thing that can make us trade it. So again, check what has happened. The market refused to break half. You see, so the market, yes, it came to half, but refused to break it. Now observe this. If you know the 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 way of analyzing um a double bottom, what do we see? If we want to analyze a double bottom, I want to make sure that that half has not been broken because that is what is indicating us. It is indicating for us if we have to continue by. So the market has not broken half. And we already know to buy, <clears throat> we need half to break because even where the market is, the market can still go up and break the neckline or it can go down. So 
if you want to trade GBPUSD, I think this is the only pattern for you to, to wait. So wait for, for the market to break the half, then enter, then you will enter up to where? Up to the neckline. So that's, I think that's the only pattern we can use. That's the only pattern you can use for now. GBPUSD, it has a double bottom, but don't enter now. If you're watching this video, just go and analyze. This is OPT because on the daily, it's not available. It's not available. So go and analyze everything and now wait for half to break. And then if it breaks, it's going to 2700. So that's the only thing we are paying attention, half to break. Anyway, let's move to the next. I think I have used a lot of time on GBP USD. If we go to GBP JPY and we start from the monthly time frame, uh, the, I know there were people who thought GBP JPY would give them a sell because they were thinking. Uh, comment down below and tell me if you are really hoping for this sale. There was this double double top activation, and you can see that double top activation the market has broken it. So we can see, we have said, for us to know GBP is powerful, we need first to indicate if it is breaking any resistance. So even if you look at monthly chart of GBP, JPY, surely, would you say GBP is weak? GBP is stronger. Monthly, the market is uptrend. The market keeps breaking resistance. In fact, it broke a very major resistance and it is on a monthly. So we have broken a resistance that is on a monthly. So on, on uh, we, may, we may not have any pattern, but on monthly suggesting a buy. When I go to weekly, this is where everything is. On the weekly, because I've been trading GBP JPY, let me give you the T. So GBP JPY, because you guys, I know you have not maybe been trading, or if you have been trading, maybe you have not seen this. On the weekly, GBP JPY had a double top that changed to be up and handle. So GBP JPY had this double top. And you see, it had a double top. GBP JPY had this double top. That was our neckline. And our half was around here. So the market even did not attempt to go even to the half. But what did they do? they broke through. When the market does like this, they break through. What do you think happens? They create a cap and handle. So we got a cap and handle created. And do you know where this market is going? In fact, GBP JPY is what I'm looking forward to trade this week. There is a lot of news on JPY, so be careful. We will be sharing, I'll be sh uh, sharing uh, the news event and what I think. So. This one, you don't trade it without the stop loss, Most when there's GP, JPY news. So the market, and mark my words, JPY is supposed to go at 193.73. 193, and it is, it's more than 400 pips, 89 pips. So that's where the market is supposed to go because TP1 is what is guaranteed. But we can see uh, for a whole week, uh, the market didn't buy according to what we wanted. In fact, it is sold. No problem. So what you do, because the market now is supposed to buy, you go to the uh, daily time frame and you are wondering what happened, what is happening. So it's not like it has activated a double bottom because, can you see, they have not activated any double bottom. So you 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 want to, have a pattern to buy from the lower time frame. And guys, I have something for you. Um, on the four hour, remember weekly we have a buy confirmation, monthly buy confirmation. Four hour, there is activation of a double bottom. There is this activation of a double bottom. So we have that double bottom activation. And once we have this, uh, and we have our neckline. So what I want you to pay attention is four hour, the double bottom on four hour, pay attention on it. So what happened is that the market slightly broke the half. 
broke the half. So JPY has already indicated we are buying. We are buying. But because of lack of RBS, you can see the sellers are very strong. We don't have RBS here. The market tend to, uh, if you bought and you, you are finding it hard, why is it the market not uh, doing my way? It's because of lack of RBS. So no RBS is making this market not go quickly. But if we want to, to have a, a nice entry, we can let's let's look at that minute to see where the market should be coming. For me, I don't know why. I felt like this is where the market should approach. And because for our and 30 minutes, there's the way they they just blend. So I don't for me, I feel like there's still room for this market to come up to 189.47. So guys, this here at 189.47, just start monitoring that. Remember, I've done videos on 30 minutes strategy. Why can't you use this as your 30 minutes strategy? Uh, use it and who knows? So don't buy it immediately. Observe it. Observe it. And uh, let's see if on one hour we have that, that candle. We don't have. Two hours, do we have? No. Three hours, do we have? No. Four hours? No. So why do you think it was left there on 30 minutes? And that's what I'm saying. You should come here and even put alarm 189.48. So 189, let's say 189.50. We put at 189.50 to give us an alert. So we are adding 189.50. GBP JPY is a good pair uh, to check uh, crossing down so that we can be alert. We can have that alert. The market is going there. So GBP JPY, for me, what I feel, I feel like it is a bias, but because there is no RBS, they will, it won't be like a swift buy. They come and tap there and now start buying. And they know why they will come up to that area. Anyway, that's my thought. So if you want to buy again, JPY, why use stop loss? Because there's so much news and I don't want you to be trapped with JPY pairs. I have repeated so many times, don't trade without stop loss. If you, even if you put, I can't tell you which stop loss because I don't know where you will enter, but use stop loss. Let's go to GBP CHF. So GBP USD, we are using for our GBP JPY, yes, for our has confirmed a buy, but dig, dig deep, go to 30 minutes, there's something there. GBP CHF has been on a downtrend, making CHF powerful than JPY and then GBP, which is very sad. So uh, it's time that GBP is um, gaining strength. You can see this big candle. It's time GBP is gaining strength. So. Yeah, weekly, monthly, uh, you can you can talk of this double bottom. Can you see this double bottom? The market has reacted on this double bottom. And if at all we mark, hey, this week is too big. If you mark, even half has been, maybe the market is headed to the neckline, according to monthly. But double bottoms on a downtrend, they don't really work as we would want. So when I go to the weekly time frame, um, there's so much, there's so much uh, obstacles because you can see how the market is not clear. So GBP CHA for me, I don't know why I feel I don't want even to look at it because if I go to four hour, if I go to four hour, I want something that is super clear, but four hour is not giving me anything clear. So uh, if I want to buy GBP CHF, see how my daily candle looks like. So GBP CHF, stay away from it. I have shown you, like, don't force yourself. So let's go to GBP and ZD. Um, GBP and ZD, on the other hand, on the monthly, it was an indecision candle, meaning the market can go either way. When you go to the weekly time frame, GBP and ZD had this double top that broke half. So we have this double top, like GBP, according to NZD, uh, GBP NZD, GBP seems like it, 
it's stronger, it's consolidating. So again, I don't want you to trade GBP and ZDY because it's like it doesn't follow structure. It broke half and still went up. If you go to the daily time frame, so weekly, can you spot weekly? Weekly, we have something like that. And then daily, there is this double top. We have a double top here and it has given a, a WBB entry. But my question is, if you are selling GBP and ZD, you're saying GBP is not stronger. So again, GBP and ZD, I wouldn't recommend. So any GBP pairs, you have to pick like two. Don't trade everything, hey, you will be roasted. So when you come to GBP Audi monthly, um, it is, has been buying for two months straight. And if I go to weekly to see what is happening on the weekly, because I don't want anywhere the market is telling me to sell because I have seen from GBP JPY, GBP becoming stronger. So I don't want anywhere market is telling me sell. So let's see from the weekly perspective, what is happening. So you can see the market has consolidated. These are consolidation guys. And I wouldn't want anyone to trade consolidation. So if we go to the daily, you can see GBP AUD is in this consolidation and it has been here for long, it hasn't been here for long. So it is in this consolidation again, GBP AUD, so we GBP CHF, GBP NZD, GBP AUD, avoid it this week. And then we get into GBP card from the monthly, eh, too much consolidation, you can see. And that's why you try to trade a pair and it is so stubborn. Because even according to monthly, how will you know who is in control with that consolidation? And these are pairs that you want to trade. These are pairs that you want to trade. So how will you know that this market, even on the weekly, the market is consolidating? When you come to the daily, the market looks like that. So for me, I would highly suggest two pairs out of, out of six. So for GBP pairs, we have established, uh, we'll trade GBP USD on four hour, and GBP JPY. I, I hope I have helped you guys to be able to choose your pairs well. Don't trade GBP CHF because you feel you don't have anything to trade. Kindly focus on GBP USD and GBP JPY because here when you buy, you're supporting the pound. But when you go to GBP and ZD and you start selling, you are saying pound is not powerful. Again, you should look at the news that are coming. There is no confirmation on GBP USD and GBP JPY, it's you now to do your own research. For JPY, for GBP JPY, I've told you, look out for 30 minutes. And for GBP USD, I have told you to wait for half to break. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this was helpful. In the next video, part two, I'll be doing Euro pairs. And you know, when you do like this, by the end of the week, you will have like, uh, because I'm doing five, if I get to two, 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 I can be analyzing 10 pairs in that week. And maybe I'll get confirmation by, let's say three pairs, I'll get confirmation on Monday, other two pairs on Tuesday. And that's how we trade guys. That's exactly how we trade. So all the best, all the best. Make sure you put everything in, uh, in place, GBP, SD, GBP, JPY, mark everything, mark your zones, mark everything. And you will find it, you, you will see a difference. You'll feel, uh, uh, try to compare even brokers. This broker, you know, we have so many brokers. We have XP, FXM, Oanda, Paperstone. Try to compare so that they may say, Oanda may have broke, but FXM has not broken. So when brokers start to defer, just first step, one step aside, because you don't want to get in when the broker has not aligned. Anyway, for GBP pairs, we have only two pairs to focus on. And I think that is the most important thing, guys. Having to understand that I'm coming in to trade GBP USD and GBP JPY, and I'm trading it to the end. 
if it is do you think this uh, this double bottom will end there if it breaks it will be going to this distance and if it breaks this distance what do you think will be happening on the weekly will be getting a break to get uh, the cup and handle so it can be uh it can be the pairs you will trade the whole of this month all the best guys love you bye bye